Hi, fourth graders, and happy Friday! You have made it to the end of another great week of online learning, and we're proud of all your work. Today in math, we're going to wrap up our study of all of our measurements. We've talked all about metric and customary and time. We've talked about how to measure all of these different things and how to convert all these different things. And you guys are rocking it with all of these. So today it's time now, and we talked about this a little yesterday, but it's time now to take our test on um, measurement. So I'm going to log on today to our Pearson website and show you how you're going to take this test. Now I have a couple of things to tell you about your test. Maybe they're reminders, maybe they're um, new information for you. But I want you to know a couple of things. First of all, you have tools at your disposal that you may use. You have charts that you may use, customary units, metric units, time units, all of these different charts are going to help you on your test and you may use them. We want you to use them. We don't expect you to have all of these things memorized. Now you should have received an email from me or from Mrs. Gunn with your information to log on to the Pearson website. Um, if you are unsure what I'm talking about, you're going to have to pause and probably contact your teacher for that information, but we have sent it to both of you. Um, both of us have sent it to you, so you should have it there. Now, um, Pearson is the company that we use for our textbook, and so this test matches right up with the things that we have learned in our textbook. So for you to really know what you're doing, I am going to log on, give me just a sec here to share my screen, um, and this is the assi your assignment for Friday, and if you'll first look here, it says Friday charts for test. This is for you to use. So I'm going to open this up right here, and it has the different charts metric units whoops hang on a sec it's taken a minute to load the metric unit chart can be found on page 672 this customary unit chart can be found on page 642 and this time chart can be found on page 678 these are actually listed if you'll look in your assignment they're listed right here um, in the the page numbers if you would rather use these charts from your book you may or you may look at them right here on your computer screen. Or you may print this and hold it beside you while you're taking your test. Any of those things are okay, but these are going to be your best friends while you're doing conversions and things on your test today. Now let's go back to our assignment in Google Classroom. And the other thing I've uploaded here is this link to the Pearson website. The easiest thing for you is going to be to click right on that link and it will take you to the website where you sign in. And you're going to click, of course, sign in. And it's going to bring up a window for you, for you to sign in. Here is where you should have that information from Mrs. Gunn or from myself for your username and your password. Most of you, your username is your first name dot last name. A couple of you, there is a number at the end of that because there was someone else who already had that username for you. So check that email from Ms. Gunn or from me and you'll type in your username. And for today, I'm going to type in our friend Susie Sample so that I can show you how to take this test. Everyone's password is the letter A and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's your password, and then you're going to click sign in. And it will sign you in. I'm gonna move my picture down to here so that we can see the whole thing. It is signing in Susie Sample. Now, I don't want to save Susie Sample's information. Now, if you have never signed into Pearson before, and Susie Sample has not signed into Pearson before, your screen is going to look like this. If you have signed into Pearson, you've used this at home to play games or to do extra work. We did give you this information way back in August when we first started school, but we've not used it much. So if you've signed in before, your website's going to look a little different. I'm assuming most of you have not, so it's going to look like this. Um, what is your preferred language? English. Um, pick an icon. You can pick whatever icon you want. I think the monkey looks cute. And then um, pick a background. Ooh, I love blue bonnets. I'm going to pick that. 
and then ready to get started, let's go. Do not spend a whole lot of time on your icon and your background because you can always come back and do this later. So click on let's go. Now, if you have logged into Pearson before, when you log in, this is what your um, assignment page is going to look like. You may not have to go through those first few steps. So you should come right here to classes and it has the due date for your next assignment, which is April 17th. Guess what y'all? That's today. And so your assignment's going to be due right now. Um, if you're in Mrs. Gunn's class, this name is going to be different here. That's okay. It's going to be the name of your class. So we want to click right there for that assignment. Now, online topic 12, distance learning. That is the name of the test that you're going to take today. I'm Susie Sample, that's the name of my test. I will type that into the Google Classroom assignment so that you will have that very specific name that you know. Now for my class at least, it's going to be your only assignment there on Google Classroom. So that should make it a little bit easier for you. Now, let's say I'm Susie Sample, I click on this, and um, it's telling me, here's your assigned work. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm ready to go. Now, here's your test, your online topic 12 distance learning. Answer each question carefully. After you submit your test, you won't be able to change your answers. Now, that means after you've clicked turn in at the end. So I'm actually going to click start. Rudy's sister is seven years old. How many months are in seven years? Now, Susie Sample is going to come over here and she's going to show her work on a piece of paper and she's gonna say that in case she needs some help later with the test or in case she has questions later for Mrs. Best, she can say, Mrs. Best, I have a question on number one, here's my work. Mrs. Best can Zoom with her, help her with that and come back to it. So she's going to save and show her work. Let's say she answers this and she goes next, 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 all the way through, there's 20 questions. I'm gonna go next, 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 all the way through all of these questions. You, of course, will show your work and answer them. It shouldn't take you too long. When you come to the end, it says review your progress. Make sure you've answered all the questions before submitting your test. Click Submit Test to turn it into your teacher. Well, it shows me here, question one was not answered. Let's say you accidentally skipped one. It will tell you right here if it is not answered. Okay, and if you, of course, I didn't answer any of them because I'm doing this as an example for you. So let's say there's one that's not answered. You could click view question. It pops you right back to the question you didn't answer. You can then answer it and go to next. And then when you get to the end of your test, all of these should be answered. When you are ready to submit it, let me scoot my picture back up again so you can see. When you're ready to submit your test, this is how you turn it in. Once you click this button, you can't go back and change your answers. Um, before you've clicked it, you can go back and check any question that you would like to. So maybe you want to wait on one. You want to ask me about it at Zoom time. I will answer your question. I will even privately Zoom with you if you need it and help you. And then you can come back to this. So be sure on your work that you number the questions on your work. So you can say, Mrs. Best, on number seven, I'm confused. Can you help me with this? And I certainly will. When you've answered all your questions, then you can click Submit test at the bottom. Now Susie Sample got a zero out of 20 because she didn't answer any of these questions. And I did that on purpose because I want you to do your own work. It tells you right here where you could use some extra practice. Well, Susie Sample needs practice everywhere because she answered none of them. But you will actually have the grade of your test right here for you. As soon as you finish, you'll know how you did. If, you're, if you have concerns there, you can certainly contact your teacher after that. Now, Susie Sample can go through. She can look at the questions that she missed. If it says incorrect, you can view it and it will help you to see the correct answer. Um, and then when you're all done with this, when you've checked your grade, you've seen how you did, then you're going to go back up um, here to exit. And then you're going to go back up here to sign out. And you'll sign out of that page, it takes you back to that Pearson homepage, and you are all done with your test. Now let's pop back into our main classroom. There we are. So I have breezed through quickly to show you how to take your test. Remember, most of you, your username is first name, dot last name, your password is lowercase a, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you click on sign in, do your very best, save your work. You may use all of your conversion charts. You may use your book. If you need to refer back to anything in your book, you may use it. You may use me. You may use Mrs. Gunn as a resource. So use all of these things to do your very best work on your test. Ms. Gunn and I are so very proud of you. We're so proud of how hard you're working. We are amazed at how much we have accomplished and learned in just three weeks of online learning. And we couldn't have asked for more from all of you. And we're very thankful and we're very proud of you. Be sure you let us know if there are any questions we can answer. Good luck on your math test today. I love you and I will see you soon. Never forget.